Okay, so I'm just going to give a quick tutorial of how to um, find or download uh, public domain books from the Internet Archive. So I've typed in Pride and Prejudice, a um, very well-known, very, very public domain book. Um, we've, we've typed it in. We've got search metadata, which is, which is default. You can use advanced search, but we don't need to do that just yet. So as you can see, there's 2,150 results, there's um, images, there's all kinds of stuff in here. But what we want to do is narrow it down to text. And we want to make sure we've selected always available and we don't get the ones that we need to purchase. And you can go and do things like language and the author, the creator and whatnot, but we're going to keep it simple. And here we go. Okay. So I'm going to go with this first one. You do also need to be um, wary of when somebody else is involved because it could be a newer version, an edited version of which, in, in which case it's not necessarily public domain. Um, you just need to be careful about that. But um, just for this example, because I know this one is available in EPUB, you will just scroll down. You've got download options here. You can download in all kinds of different have they, do they have PDF? Okay, that looks more complicated, so let's go back. Um, I do prefer to download in PDF only because sometimes the EPUB version has been automatically generated and it may have some um, errors. It, it, it could have um, grammatical errors, spelling errors where it scanned the document and it hasn't translated the words properly. So but if that's the only one that's available, EPUB is sometimes easier why is it doing this um okay so you just you just want to click on it click on two files or you can click on the drop down and choose which one to download so the epub i'm guessing images is the scans like i mentioned and then this is the the um auto generated text and just like that, you've got your public domain text. But as I said, see, it's been edited by this person and that's the new release date. So although it says it's still, it can be reused and whatnot, I would be wary of those kind of um, texts because somebody has already um, gone in and edited it. But in any case, that's how you download from Internet Archives. And let's go back over to how we would use this 